Hello and welcome to In the Living Room with MTC. Today we've got a very serious book, very important. It's a mystery. Okay, uh, my kids love it. I love it. It's called the story of the little mole who knew it was none of his business. Now there's some sound effects in here. Feel free to join in. The story of the little mole who knew it was none of his business. One day, the little mole poked his head out from underground to see whether the sun had already risen. Then, it happened. It looked a little like a sausage, and the worst thing was that it landed right on his head. Look at that. Looks a bit like a sausage. How mean, cried the little mole. Who has done this on my head? But he was so short-sighted that he couldn't see anyone around. There you go. It's pretty nice and warm, but I don't think I'd like it. Did you do this on my head? He asked the dove, who was flying past. Me? How could I? I do it like this, she answered. And... Splash! A moist white blob landed on the ground right next to the little mole. His right leg was splashed with white. Look at that. Just missed it. Oh, got a bit in his leg there. Did you do this on my head? He asked the horse who was grazing in the pasture. Me? <laughs> no. How could I? I do it like this. And <laughs> five big fat horsey apples plopped down with a hair's breadth of the mould. He was very impressed. Look at that. Huge. Bit stinky. Did you do this on my head? He asked the hare. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, answered the hare, and <laughs> fifteen little round beans shot past the mole's ear. He saved himself with a daring leap. Look at that, flying out, nearly got him, just to dodge out of the way. Did you do this on my head? he asked the ghost, who had been dreaming a little. Look at that goat, looks a bit dopey. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, she replied, and... <laughs> a pile of toffee-coloured little balls tumbled on the grass. A little mole found him almost appealing. I don't know, I don't find him very appealing, do you? Did you do this on my head? He asked the cow who was chewing the cud. Me? No. no, how could I? I do it like this. And <laughs> a big brownish green pancake flopped into the grass just next to the mould. He was very relieved that it hadn't been the cow who had done something on his head. And can you blame him? Look at the size of that. Splat. Did you do this on my head? He asked the pig. Me? <laughs> no, how could I? I do it like this, replied the pig. <clears throat> Splat. A little soft brown pile fell in the grass. The mole held his nose. <clears throat> Ooh, stinky, look at that. There's a bit of steam coming off and everything. Imagine how bad that will stink. Ah, did you do this on my... He was going to ask again. But as he came closer, he saw only two big fat black flies and they were eating. At last, someone who would be able to help me, thought the mole. Um, who did this on my head? He asked excitedly. And there you go, there's the two flies there. Connoisseurs of poop. Keep nice and still, buzzed the flies. There was a short pause and then... It's clear that it was a dog. You see, they had a nice little taste and they knew the taste of dog poop. Finally, the little mole knew who had done the business on his head. Basil, the butcher's dog. Look at Basil, he's huge. I wonder he did a big poo on his head. Quick as a flash, he climbed on Basil's kennel and, bing, a tiny black sausage landed right on top of the dog's head. Look at that. He got his revenge. Satisfied at last, the little mole disappeared happily into the hole in the ground. There you go, he's gone back home all happy. Hope you enjoyed that story. 
as much as I did. Goodbye.